All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to get in almost any flat screen TV. They're pretty much all made the same. Flip it over on its back. Unscrew every screw that you can find. I got a drill here that saved a lot of time. I was able to speed through it. Just any screw that you could find, unscrew it. Then this part can get a little tricky. You're gonna need like a flathead screwdriver, maybe a couple of them. And what you're gonna do is find out where the TV splits at. I've already started prying this one because I got one hand. I'll show you guys the video. So you take your screwdriver, and what we got is a bunch of clips every so often, maybe every eight inches. This is a Vizio. So what I did is I stuck my screwdriver in there, and I made it ride. Sorry about that. This TV's already broken. <laughs> so I'm gonna ride all the way like Once you that. Start prying all the way around. The back end will start to split off. And I've done like 20 of these TVs, and they're all pretty much similar. So. I'm gonna unscrew, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna start snapping the clips off all the way around. I'll start recording again for you guys okay, to get I got it. all the clips off. I was actually missing a screw, so it wouldn't come off. So I got the back end off, and now you're inside your TV. And this video is gonna help you guys out if you need to get in there, um, troubleshoot, so you can find a problem. This is your, I think that's your motherboard. One of these two, two are your motherboard, but you know, if your TV is not working, um, just troubleshoot it. Get inside of here. It's not getting a picture. It's most likely either this or that. And what you're going to do to try to find the problem, this might help you. Take a flashlight. Look for something that's blown, defected. It could be one of these capacitors. And if you see one of these and they don't have like a... Sorry, my camera's not that clear right there. Um, if it's not a flat top and you see it bubbled up, that most likely is your problem. Look for capacitors that are blown. And to remove these, you'd have to unscrew this, unsolder the two prongs, um, and to look for the parts for these, they got numbers on the side, so they're not that hard to find. You can replace these very easily. If anybody knows how to do basic solder, and you can take care of that. Um, if your TV's not getting any power whatsoever, that definitely is your issue. I'd get a new one of those. They're probably 50, 60 bucks right now, and you can replace that yourself. It's better than getting a whole new TV. If you got picture problems, um, not you know HDMI ports not working, um, coax, or if you're just getting like a fuzzy picture, I would replace this first. This is going to be your problem. If you have no power going to your unit. It's usually this board right here because that's where your um, power goes into. So if that's not working, that could be your issue. Also look for things like this, like you have a little fuse there. You can use a power tester to test them. People don't recommend this if your TV's not getting any power. The quickest way to find out if your fuse isn't working, put a piece of um, little tiny thin piece of aluminum um, from here to here while it's unplugged and then power the TV back on. And if it turns on, remove the aluminum foil and go get you a fuse if you don't have a power tester. Um, that could pretty much fix your problem right there. You can find these on eBay or Google. Your model number of your TV, for My instance, model number is E500i-AO. So if you needed a part, you would go on eBay or just Google it and type in that model number with the word motherboard or parts and you'll see all kinds of people selling parts for your TV. It's hard to find LCDs because the problem with this, my little kid threw a doll on it, cracked the screen and people don't really ship big items like that just too much for shipping um, this is where your um, I guess you can call this a motherboard correct me if I'm wrong it's where your HDMI and all that go into so like my kids broke two of the HDMI ports on this and if you wanted to replace this you could look for this part find it and you could probably do this yourself it's not hard you don't have to hire a tech guy everything unclips here um, and all you would do is unclip them I think you just shake this one. You can't do it with one hand or else I'd be able to show you guys. But yeah, there it goes. You just pull that one straight out. That pops out. They're all pretty much similar. Take pictures before you do anything, before you start removing clips. That way you can go back and reference yourself. Um, all you would do is remove all the clips, unscrew all the screws, replace the part. It's that simple. Um, they're not as complex as somebody would think. <clears throat> Same as here. Um, you would unscrew one, two, three, four, five, you know, the screws that's holding the board down and go ahead and replace that. Here you got speakers. Um, 
All you'd have to do to replace those is obviously pull them straight out, follow the wire, unplug it. Real simple here if you guys got an issue. Even power buttons and stuff. You could find stuff like this where all your little volume keys and so on are. So hope this video helps you guys out on how to get inside of your flat screen TV. If so, just give me a thumbs up. Not gonna beg you to subscribe. Thanks a lot, thanks for watching.